equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. In this episode, it is time to meet the Jutland Draft Horse. These beautiful equines are Denmark's national draft horse, and they were once an indispensable asset to Danish farming. For my final breed in Denmark, I've been invited to a local farm to meet members of the Breed Society and learn about the breed. Oh my goodness, they are just so beautiful. Look at you. In 1862, there was a stallion who called Oppenheim. It came from England because they want the horses to get a little bigger in Denmark. And in 18 in uh, 1993, there was another stallion who is called Aldrup Munkedal in line of Oppenheim. And that's all the Jutland horses is coming from this. We compared the Jutland horse with a Labrador dog because if you take it inside, it will probably lay in front of the television and it, it loves to eat. So this is, this is really a family horse. The first stud book was published in 1881. The original goal was to breed a horse particularly suitable for draft work in agriculture. They needed strong horses with good endurance and ones that would be economical to feed and care for with a kind and trustworthy temperament. So the first line with the poles sets the straightness. Yeah, exactly. And then from there, you're going off of what yeah. was done before. So you need to trust your horse and you need to know each other so they know what you want to do. You can see the, the one to the right now. She's supposed to be like in the line as good as she can. Could you imagine how, how many hours it will take? But um, yeah. That's how it was. Now we live in a world where we can order food yeah. from our phone and have it delivered. It's just so understandable how, you know, carrying on this tradition, even though we don't need it yeah, anymore, exactly. it's still so special to be able to take your team of horses out to the field yeah. and be there with them. Exactly. Exactly. I think it's it's the same when you do like riding or something like that. You're just there with the horses. You know the horses. They follow you, and I think you mentally like get a small break yeah. for being there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's my first time. Yeah. <laughs> here. Okay. You're in here. And this work here. Okay. And you hold this on this side. You can. You not press here. Don't press. You don't. This. Don't tilt. This. I have to say before we start, these beautiful straight lines yes. are not going to be as straight. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Come, Flag. Come. Ah! <laughs> no press. Uh, no press. Ooh, just straight. I can't believe I have horse reins around my whole entire body right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. This way takes so much. Yeah, Take I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> ah. There we go. Ooh, there's a rock. It's weird to just let it drag. <laughs> This is so crazy to watch the soil turn up like this. Whoop! <laughs> Wrong way! That's really good! Oh my gosh, they are such good horses! I think I'm ready to be a farmer. We can just continue, Jens. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna come back a little while later. He's still gonna be out there. <laughs> this is like our family farm. We lived here, I mean, my sister also, but now we moved from home. When my parents moved to the farm, from like a normal house, they, they want to do like the Danish way, so they prefer like a Danish horse. So this is like the Danish natural draft horse. So we think, why not? It fits well to a huge farm. 
and um, yeah, we think they're really pretty. They have a cool temper, so most people can handle them without being any like professional or something like that. It seems like a lot of you guys ride these yes. bikes. Yes, yeah. Uh, I think people do it because they're calm and easy to ride. And again, it's not something fancy, but most people like them because you can go like in the forest or whatever you feel with them. We have two stallions in here. We have this one we almost just bought. He's ready for the breeding season now. Uh, and this is the one we breed ourselves, um, so we cannot really use him for our own mare. Oh, so sure. he's just uh, socializing right now. He's just two and he's three years old, this one. Yeah, <laughs> just boys playing. I you know? love it, I love it. It's like having a little brother and a big yeah, brother. Yeah. Now it's water time. Yes, <laughs> gotta take a break from all that rough housing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're doing it together. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. They know where to itch each other, so that's oh, a good thing. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's so great they can still be together, even though they're stallions. This is mother, and this is her daughter. Come. Come on back, come on back, come on back. So this one and uh, the small stallion, they have the same uh, father. Okay. Yeah. So they're all like kind of family. I think all these here have the same like grandmother, just in different generation. Okay. Because we, we when we bought our first horse, uh, it was a mare and it was like, okay, we, we need a horse. And she was apparently having a baby horse. Oh. <laughs> we didn't really know. <laughs> and then suddenly you have two horses and then, yeah, now we have around eight or nine horses. <laughs> so, yeah, it takes over apparently. This is, it is one of those things that happens. You're yeah, like, yeah. I'm just gonna get one. Yeah, and exactly. And then all of a sudden, it's like, I don't, I don't even know how that happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this is Olaf with the pretty hair. I thought I brushed it all over there and I got here and there's more. <laughs> Nils here is the biggest one. I think he's the most comfortable to be on. He's like the cow choice over here. We don't use a saddle, we use these. This is just a stir single. Yeah. And then you attach the stirrups to yeah. it. Yeah. There's automatically seat heat with these horses. I know, it's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> there are only 800 of these horses left and we got four of them right here with us. How cool is that?
Most of them are red, with light mane and tail, but brown and black also occur in the breed. The average height is between 15.2 and 16.1. Today, the breeding goal is to preserve this precious piece of Denmark's history. The reliable and willing temperament has been maintained as one of the most valuable qualities of the breed, and they are most often used as a versatile recreational horse. It, it's an old breed. There's not much horses left. If we don't do anything, they will, they will be extensive. I think so. So we, we need to do something to get the horses. So yeah. this, it is the same and with all draft horses. I think that's a problem. But we love the horses. That's the story. These horses are so rare, and as you mentioned, yeah, so yeah, many yeah. of the draft horses, their numbers are dwindling. Yeah, exactly. But to see you know, families like you guys yeah. and to see the joy that you have with your horses and how that also brings you together with exactly. other horse people. Exactly, exactly. This is, this is a family horse. You can do a lot of it together. You can drive wagon, you can do it. So this is, this is what we do together. And we will go to a show here in summer. And so this is, this is really fun because when they're getting old, they don't want to go back to their parents. But if you have a <laughs> horse, it's, it's a little easier. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you gotta come home! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have the horses. <laughs> so here we are. One more country completed for the quest. One more breed carrying on the legacy of a nation. And one more community where laughter, stories, and connections are all shared thanks to our amazing horses. This is one of the oldest stud farms in the world and they have been breeding horses here since the 12th century. And in between this one, they practiced, you know, Lavard and Capriol and